Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How are you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a really great day. In this video, I'm going to be covering the 3060 and specifically, this is a Zotac Gaming Edition Twin Edge OC, okay? RTX 3060. So, I'm going to be running this card through its paces in terms of hash rates, finding out what the power consumption is, all that good stuff. And you guys have probably heard that these cards, the 3060s, are going to be essentially BIOS locked. So the Ethereum hash rate and potentially some other algorithms may not be great on the 3060. But I am here to find that out with this card that I have here. And so I'll be putting it all into a spreadsheet. And you guys, if you don't want to watch the rest of this video, feel free to click on the link down below to the Google Sheet that shows all the hash rates that I achieved on this card. As well as I have a bunch of other hash rates on that sheet as well but if you want to be entertained and want to hear my voice keep on watching the video all right so I'm gonna bring this to my test bench let's go over there right now and you guys know I have this little guy right here okay this is my little ITX test bench and I have right now this is a 3060 Ti so let's do a little size comparison here let's see how big the the MSI Ventus is compared to the Zotac gaming twin edge so it definitely looks like the Ventus is a little bit bigger than the twin edge version here yeah look at that compared to that so huh, interesting yeah Zotac cards are generally a little bit smaller compared to the other AIBs so yeah this this 3060 definitely a smaller form factor just just by looking at it so okay well anyways guys I'm going to take this 3060 Ti out and we're gonna figure out the hash rate that we get on Ethereum first and then we'll do the other ones after okay so I'll be right back there we go it's installed and Windows does not recognize with my old 3060 driver, so I have to download the latest NVIDIA driver, 461.72. Okay, so I have it starting on mining Ethereum using the good old T-Rex miner. And we shall see what the hash rate will start off as, and I'll show you guys my overclock here. Just using 60 power limit, minus 200 core, plus 1200 on the memory, and we shall see... What we get here, we're using about, according to the kilowatt, 136 watts, 135 watts for the total system. And let's see here, T-Rex Miner, let's see what we get. Oh, we get an amazingly high 26.09 mega hash, 57 degrees Celsius, 101 watts in the software. Guys. I think, I think this is the best GPU on the market right now to buy. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You guys know the Ethereum hash rate is supposed to be essentially handicapped because Nvidia decided to uh, try to help out gamers, but I, I really don't think this is going to help at all. I mean, I'm personally not going to be buying these for mining. You've probably seen earlier videos already of the 3060 hash rate and it, it does well on other algorithms, which I am going to try right now. So in my Google Doc, I am going to fill up another tab here. So you guys can see I have a 3060 Ti, Asus Tough 3070, the RTX 3080 I have not done yet. I will very soon. I've just been pretty lazy. And uh, the Asus Strix RTX 3090, uh, which I have in my GIMPed system right now. I, It's just, look, at, look how big it is. It doesn't even fit in my Corsair 280X case. It's just ridiculous. All the power cables come out the side there. You guys can see I can't even close the lid. All right, well, I mean, that was very underwhelming. Uh, I mean, not very exciting. <laughs> 26 mega hash and uh, 135 watts. So I think roughly about 100 to 110 watts mining Ethereum on this guy. So it's not efficient at all. All right, let me do the other hash rates, guys, and I will see you in the computer. We'll explain the profitability and a bunch of other stuff, I guess. Well, this is going to take me a few hours to test all the algos. I'll be right back. All right, you guys can see I am mining uh, Conflux right now. And it is getting about 41.5, it was hovering around 41.7 for a while, uh, but it changes every now and then by a little bit. But you can see my overclock settings here. I found that this is the best one in terms of, I guess, the hash per watt rating. And uh, I'll show you guys my spreadsheet here. But I wanted to show you guys the hardware info. I thought that this 3060 would have a uh, junction memory temperature, but uh, it doesn't. It only has the hotspot temperature. 
So this is a new one for me. I've never seen that one before. I'm using the latest version of Hardware Info 64. Uh, this is the beta version, I believe. And uh, yeah, usually like my RTX 3080 shows the memory junction temperature. But the 3060 does not show the memory junction. It shows hotspot instead. So you can see here, it says it's about uh, 65.2 degrees Celsius right now. <laughs> you can see the maximum I had about 91, but that's because I had the fan at like, uh, it was at auto and like 10% or something. So it was it was getting pretty high up there, but not, not too bad. I mean, I think I've seen GPUs run past 100, but I think what I've seen from GDDR5 or GDDR6 memory and 6X memory is to, uh, from my from what I've heard from Igor's lab, is to run them below 95 degrees Celsius, all right, for the memory junction temperature, or else uh, if you go any higher than that, the longevity of the card may not last. I've had similar experience with the R9 290s running over, 100 degrees celsius and those didn't last <laughs> for like over a year they died within like a year so all right but anyways let's show you guys the hash rates here that i got on the spreadsheet and you guys can access this in the uh, description below all right right at the top in case you guys want to see you know what uh, overclock undervolt settings that i did on this 3060 and again i have the 3060 ti uh, hash rates here that I've done as well. I've done videos on these, the 3070 and the RTX 3090. I will be doing the 3080 very soon, very soon, okay? So, but let's go back here. Just before I begin, guys, I have a disclaimer. Uh, when it comes to GPU mining, remember, silicon lottery results may vary from GPU to GPU, so your clocks, undervolt voltages shown in my videos may not work for you because of the GPU brand, memory, manufacturing, what have you. Temperatures and your cooling methods will also play the part and have an effect. Test at your own risk and do your own research. All right. Okay. So anyways, let's go through all the different hash rates here, guys. I have highlighted in colors uh, the most essentially the efficient ones in terms of hash per watt according to my Zotac Twin Edge OC. You guys may have different results depending on what power limits you use on your card. Again, the AIBs, all different models out there, they might have different power settings, power ratings, a bunch of different stuff. It, it could be, it could really depend, right, on card. But anyways, Ethereum, all right, as you guys know, it is kind of handicapped, so it is only getting about 26.06 .06 mega hash, and I'm able to achieve that at about 99 watts in the software. Software. And then at the wall, it says at about 133 watts. So that is like the most efficient one there. I'm using T-Rex Miner, okay? Uh, 58 power limit, minus 200 core, plus 1200 memory. Okay, going down, let's talk about Ravencoin. Now, I was getting about 21.59 mega hash at about 108 watts, 143 watts total system, and the same power limit. It looks like this was the sweet spot for my 3060. Uh, you guys can see the other numbers here in terms of hash per watt. It was, uh, it was this guy right here. Okay, and then, yeah, you guys you guys can see the other power limit settings that I did. And then going down, Conflux was also good at 64 power limit, plus 100 core, uh, plus 100 memory. All right. And I was getting about 41.71 mega hash on Conflux. So that one is really good. But anyways, yeah, I have all the other hash rates here. I got Vertcoin, Cortex, Beam, Aeon, so on and so forth. I guess I think the Vertcoin hash rate is also kind of limited by the NVIDIA uh, BIOS, I guess. And uh, yeah, so same with Ethereum. If there are some algorithms that use memory, a lot of memory, it will essentially be handicapped. So I think Vertcoin was one of them. And I think... I'm, I think Mimble Wimble coin as well. I'm not quite sure on this one as well, but I think I think those three or j just those two, Vertcoin and Ethereum, are kind of handicapped uh, due to the BIOS locking. So, anyways, you can see here, guys. I'm gonna go to what to mine. I have all the hash rates in. You guys are probably wanting to see the hash rates, uh, the profitability. Sorry, and look at this. Conflux is the most profitable thing on mining on this coin okay so if you guys care about profits and uh, you just care about the satoshis then i mean everything is tied to bitcoin in terms of fiat value all that kind of stuff so yeah it shows conflux here you can mine about 5.1 conflux a day uh, the next coin here that's next in the profitability list is veil and then we got uh, nice hash the octopus which is the conflux coin and then uh, BitTube Cash, A Eternity, Firo, and then Ravencoin, kind of near the middle, all right? So yeah, going down, uh, Zelle and Conceal, Aeon, all the other coins that I tested here, they're not as profitable, but they're still pretty strong, pretty strong on those other coins as well. 
Okay, well, and uh, oh, Cortex as well. I forgot to show Cortex as Cortex is not on the what to mine active list here, uh, but I did do the Cortex hash rate. Someone did ask me that, and it is actually making pretty decent profit about uh, $2.95 a day and uh, or three twenty one of free electric so it is pretty comparable it would be at the top three of this list actually so it'd be conflux veil and then cortex so this is a coin that i mined back in the day i would say maybe a year ago and uh yeah this coin is still actually pretty good in terms of profitability but it's just not showing here on what to mine but anyways guys that's it. That's all I wanted to do in this video. Just I want to keep it short and sweet, hopefully. But yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts and everything. Link in the description for this Google Sheet. And uh, yeah, anyways, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one and peace out.